What is up, guys? Welcome back to my ch what? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Ninja here, and welcome back, guys, to a brand new Waking. That Waking, Waking. I I can't really say that way right. Waking video here on the channel today. Now you may be thinking, guys, where is my full Hedasatoria? It should be fits. Fits the book, like, physically. I don't really know how you put that stuff. But, something like that, but yeah. But, but I'll just check out something, so yeah. So, before we start up with this video, guys, if you do enjoy these kind of Reiki videos, and you would love to see more Reiki videos in the future, make sure you guys go down below and hit that like button down below, guys. It means a lot to me. It supports my channel a lot. So, please, guys, hit that like button if you do enjoy today. Please, guys, I would love it so much if you guys could do that. So, yeah. So, please, guys, hit that like button. So, yeah. Also, guys, if this is your first time here, make sure you guys go down below and click that subscribe button down below, guys. I need you guys' help. I'm trying, I'm trying to get this channel to 1,500 subscribers by the end. Yeah, 1,500 subscribers by the end of August. Which today is August 6th. Yeah, which today is August 6th. Yeah, which today is August 6th. So, which right now we only got 25 days left by the end of August. So, if you guys can help me out, guys. I think right now we are almost close to 1,420 right now. I know there's a chest. I know there's a chest. That we can hit that. Please, guys, help me hit that. That would be amazing. So, yeah. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. And also, guys, share this video with your friends, your family, and do all of that stuff. So, yeah. And let's try and get this video... Let's try and get this video to five likes. So, yeah. So, you may be thinking, of, Hey, Ninja, what are you waking today? Where are we making all 26 Pixar films with Lightyear? Which I did a Lightyear review on Thursday. So you guys can go check that review out. I spent like around almost close 20, like around 26 minutes talking about it. So yeah. Now if you guys don't know guys, let me show you guys something, okay? If you guys don't know guys, I'm chicken peanut butter cup coffee. Which, uh... I don't know too much, uh, like, it's from a coffee place, which I'm not going to show you guys where it is, because it's not, in, it is a special coffee place in my area, so, yeah, I know, so, so, yeah, but I got this peanut butter cup coffee with, uh, uh, glazed, uh, some cold, uh, I see, put, I have some, uh, whipped cream, chocolate, trisso, aka, Kind of never way to say chocolate syrup. And. And some espresso. So yeah. So. So let's get right to it. Sorry. So you can see guys that all these movies are all out of order. Right? All these movies is out of order. That way. But I'm going to choose one of these. Okay. Let me choose one of these. Okay. Let's go with. Uh. Let's go with, uh, uh, let's go with, let's start up with the, uh, I want to start, uh, I don't want to start in order like Toy Story and Onward, I really want, okay, let's start up with Toy Story, shh, okay, let's start up with Toy Story, the first Toy Story, for me, I really enjoyed the first Toy Story, for me, what I really like about the first Toy Story is the way that they did with these characters, and the way that they did with Toy Story, I like the original Toy Story. But for me, it's not like uh, my favorite uh, of the Toy Story franchise. But it's really great. It's a great movie. I really wanted to put it in the awesome tier or the old time tier. But, excuse me. So yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to choose some things up, okay? I'm going to do... Good. Uh. Right. 
And let's do this as meh. This goes sick. There we go. So yeah, but going back and talking about the original Toy Story, I like the original Toy Story. For me, this is this related to the story that I didn't really enjoy too much. Now I like, uh, I really like the friendship against. Uh, I really like the relationship. The relationship against Woody and Buzz. Their their friendship is really great in this movie. Like, it's so funny because uh, Buzz Lightyear is also very funny in this film. Uh, like, to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. What? To infinity and beyond. And yeah. And for me, I really like the original Toy Story film. It's not like a perfect movie for me. There's a bunch of issues related to the film, like, uh, Sid, I did not like Sid. Sid, uh, no. Okay, here's what we're going to do, okay, guys? I'm going to rank all of the franchises uh, first up. I'm going to rank all the charities, like, Star Wars Toy Story, The Cars, The The Equitables, The Finding Nemo, Masters of Eek, and all of that in order. And yeah. For me... Toy Story is a really great movie. I like the story. The plot was good, really good. Uh, and for me, Toy Story, I'm going to put Toy Story in the great tier. It's a great movie. I really enjoy what they did with the characters. For me, it's a great movie. So, yeah. And now, we are here, and now we're here to Toy Story 2. Which, let me tell you guys, uh, I really, really, really enjoyed Toy Story 2. I feel like Toy Story 2 was better than the first one. For me, what do we, for me, what do we subscribe like? Subscribe if you love Chick-fil-A. Yeah, subscribe if you love Chick-fil-A. But yeah, but of course, the Toy Story 2, uh, for me, what I, what I really like about this film uh, is uh, how they give us the, like, the way that Pixar introduced us, like, introduce us to uh, Jesse and Bullseye. The way that they did with these two characters, I, I enjoyed Jesse. Her character was really good in the second. Have you ate in and out before? No, we don't have one in our area. But yeah, Toy Story two. For me, what I, what for me, what I really like about Toy Story two is when like the way that Pixar introduces us to these new characters, Jesse. I love her. She's like one of the greatest characters in the Toy Story franchise, which I really like about her. I really like her because she's like one of my top favorite characters in the Toy Story franchise. And Gerardo, I like this film. Toy Story 2 for me was really good. It's very really awesome and it's amazing. I love the feeling and the feeling was very really good. I really like the beginning with Buzz Lightyear. Like Fon Sugar as his father, and guess what? There is an Empire Strike Back uh, line. Like Buzz said, uh, like uh, someone that doesn't care. Uh, I think Sug said something about uh, join me, like Buzz Lightyear. But guess what? What Buzz? Well, guess what? What Buzz says? No, I'm not like uh, something about. Uh, you killed, like, oh, you killed my father. And guess what? Silk says, no, I am your father. And then they have, like, that whole town scene. Why did they put the Empire Strike Back scene in Toy Story? It's completely the funny. No, Empire Strike Back. I, Star Wars, like, whatever. When, like, when Darth Vader says, join me. Like, uh, oh, like, something like, like some about, uh, like some about uh, your father. Uh, something about something about your father. Something like that. And then Luke says, "No, he said like he's like he was talking to Obi Wan Kenobi." And then, and then uh, Luke says, "No, it said that you killed my father." Then Delpha said, uh, and the Vader says, "No, Luke, I am your father." Let's. I really love that. For me, Toy Story two plot amazing. Uh, I put that one in the old time tier. That's my favorite Toy Story film of all time. 
And for me, I love Toy Story 2 for some reason. Yeah. I wish I could grow up on this film. I just wish I grew up with this film. I wish I was born in the 90s. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And yeah. Toy Story 2, amazing time. I love it. It's an old time movie and I really like it. So yeah. And now let's check out Toy Story 3. Which, uh, which, uh, I really enjoy Toy Story 3. I, I don't think it was better than the second one, but it was better than the original. For me, what I really like about the third Toy Story is, this is the end of Andy's, uh, life cycle, like his life. Now he is an adult now, and he's going to be going to college, which we don't know too much about, uh, Andy's uh, college, uh, which we had to see Andy quite a while, which I really hope we can get more Andy soon. Uh, if uh, maybe just maybe, I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like now with the new Lightyear movie out, I feel like there might be a possibility that Pixar could bring back, could reboot the Toy Story franchise, like reboot the franchise. And make Jesse as the main, uh, the, the main, uh, sheriff in, uh, because now with Woody gone, and Tom Hanks is no longer play as Woody, they can do something about that. I'm going to talk about more about the future of Toy Story in the future, but for me, Toy Story 3 was awesome. I love the feeling. I know the feeling is that purple bell, which I don't remember what the, I don't remember what his name was. Uh, I completely forgot what his name was, but... I really like Toy Story 3. What I really like about Toy Story 3 is, uh, of course, uh, Andy's toys are going to this kindergarten school. This, uh, daycare. Oh, daycare. Like, daycare, which I feel like was weird. Especially the caterpillars. Uh, you have the butterflies, that's very good, but the caterpillars, oh, I just don't like that scene. It's just so disgusting. Like, one of the babies lick. Like, one of the babies lick Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, that's just, that's not good. Yeah. I like Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 was awesome. I love the plot. The finale of the movie was good. I love the finale. The finale is amazing. When Andy, when Andy passed his toys to... Oh, who was the little girl's name? Hmm? Oh, who was her name? What is it? Uh, maybe can you pop up Disney Plus for just a minute? Okay. Because I cannot pop up. Yeah, okay. Wait. Wait, do you have internet? Do you have the, the, the web? Um, you mean I have to go to, um, Toy Story 3? No, like, uh, can you go to Google? Google? No, I don't. Okay. Wait, I got it now. What? I'm gonna have this. Toy Story 4. Mm, let's see here. Uh, who is the name? Uh... No. I think, no, that's that. Uh, Body. Body's her name. Body's her name. Like, the ending when she did that to Body, I feel like Andy passing out all his toys uh, to Body was really great. Which, uh, for me, I like Andy the trilogy. Andy did a great, Andy did a good job, uh, in the first two Toy Story films, and now when the third one came out, which came out 11 years after the second Toy Story, for me, for me, Toy Story 3 is an awesome film. It's not amazing, but it's an awesome film. I really love the film so much, which means I'm going to put two in the awesome tier, which I feel like Toy Story 3 is an awesome film. Now, I, now, 
The reason why they put it in the old time tier is the caterpillar seed that over there beside the caterpillars when the toys go to the caterpillar side of things. That's just so low. So yeah. And that's when we hit the Toy Story 4 as the final Toy Story film. Except the spin-off, which is Lightyear, which we're going to talk about that last. Toy Story 4, for me, was my least favorite one of the whole entire franchise. Because what, Because I don't really like Toy Story 4 too much. Because it's... it's yeah, it came out nine years after the third one. But Toy Story 4 was different. Why? Because, uh, like, the problem that I have with this film uh, is, uh, they have some things in the film. Gabi, Gabi is not a good film. Like, Gabi, yeah. And, of course, we got the cast here. We got, we got Woody, Buzz Lightyear. You got Karate Weaves as Duke. Karate uh, as, uh, Keanu. Reeves uh, as, uh, I mean, everybody kind of knows him as John Wick. People know him in the John movie. Wick. John Wick is not a film you so much. Uh, he also plays the character in The Matrix. The Matrix. Uh, I have heard rumors that say that he could be playing Ghost Rider in the MCU, but rumors are incorrect. I could see him as Wolverine. I don't really know, but... Yeah, like uh, Duke, uh, Bo Peak, uh, Forky. Tony Howe did a great job as Forky. You got Buddy, you got Mr. Potato Head, Brittany White, Dolly, Ducky, Gabby Gabby, Jesse. Jesse was, Jesse wasn't very, like, Buzz and Jesse wasn't shown too much in this film. It was mostly Woody and Bo Peep. And yeah, Bill Hades is in this film. Bill Hades, I know that guy. He plays Oxo. Oh, uh, he he also plays uh Flit Lakota. Like yeah, he also plays Flit Cloudy with a chest of meatballs. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he also plays Guy from Turbo. That racer guy in Turbo. He also plays that guy. Oh, he's. Well, then, he's also in the, I think it's called The Shot, that, uh, that, uh, short film made by Separate Islander, don't remember, but yeah. But for me, Toy Story 4 was a little bit weird. Now, I love the performance of these characters. I love the performance of the characters in this film. It's just, we didn't get too much Buzz Lightyear. And of course, this is the finale of the Toy Story franchise. If there was a Toy Story 5 with uh, Buzz and Jesse being the main characters, Jessica got like the actress who plays Jessica come back. Uh, I could see Chris Evans uh, playing the uh, Buzz Lightyear in uh, Toy Story 4, Toy Story 5. I could see that happening. Uh, because, oh, Jesse Disney Plus show. I would love to see more Jesse because, uh, we got Buzz Lightyear movie, Lightyear, but we do not have a new, uh, we don't have, like, we haven't seen Jesse since Toy Story 4. I mean, I really enjoy, I really enjoy Toy Story 4, Buddy and Chick is very good, uh, Woody, Bo Peep is very good for me. I'm going to say Toy Story 4 was a good movie, also put it down to all right, no, I'm going to put it in the good tier, it's my... It's my least favorite of the Horror Tower trilogy, but the franchise, but yeah. And this is kind of going to not talk about Lightyear, but I'm going to keep Lightyear for last. Next up, let's check out the Cars franchise. Start up to the very first Cars. I really love the first Cars. The first Cars was like, that was the that was the Pixar movie I grew up watching uh, the most. I loved Cars when I was a kid. It came out when I was two years old. Uh, Cars came out when I was two years old, which I love this film. I love Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson did an amazing job as Light Lightning McQueen. I really like it. I really like his character. You got Larry the Cable Guy as Larry the Cucumber. No, Larry Larry the Cable Guy 
as Beta. I love Beta. Oh, well, I am Tom Beta. I wish I could get to. I would. I wish I could get Beta's voice, but it's just very good. Wow! Wait, Wahoo! It's me, Beta. Yeah. Beta, what are you doing? <laughs> like for me, the Radio Springs. I wish that was a real place. I think it is, but it's not like that. I know. I know. Route sixty six is a real like that's a real big and yeah. I really like Beta. I really like Lightning McQueen. I like Sari. I love Luigi. Luigi Ramu. Luigi the Yellow Cow. And, and Tino. Tino. Yeah, like Tino. I think Tino is the blue car that the, the, the blue car who was working for Luigi. I think Tino is his name. Chuck. I love Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton as Chuck. I really like his character. The character from Dino Car, I think that's one of the characters. I don't remember his name, but yeah. the like I love the sheriff. Doc is a really good character. I love Doc. Like Doc. When he is chained in uh, Lightning McQueen in this film, I was like, Doc did a great job. Where since the actor who plays Doc passed away uh, the same time when the first Cars movie came out. But yeah. For me, cars like I love the racer. I love the race. Uh, the music is very good. I love, uh, I love songs like the songs I really like uh, is. Uh, let me go to Spotify. I think I do have something about that. Uh, I I think it's Disney hits. Uh, let me go down. Uh, we are God. We are God's a very good one. Life is a highway. Life is a Highway and uh, We Are God, which is We Are God is the beginning of song. Like, I'm going to say the main theme for Cars. I think the main theme of Cars is We Are God. I think that's the main theme. Life, Life is a Highway, that wasn't the main theme. But I don't really know. But yeah. But the original Cars... For me, I love the story. I love this story so much. It is one of the best stories I have ever seen. And for me, Cars goes up into the old time tier. Which this was my, like, Cars was my childhood. This was my childhood movie. And I love this film so much. And then we head to Cars 2. Which a lot of people say, oh, Ninja. Put this one at the bottom tier. Which, no. Guys, no. No, I am not following for that. I am not following uh, of saying that Cars 2 is a terrible movie. Is I know. A terrible movie for them? Yeah, everybody hates Cars 2. Why? It's re like, it's some kind of, it's a spy movie, but people doesn't really like Mado as the main character. I love Mado. Like, I feel like Cars 2 is like a spin-off. Cars 2 is like a spin-off. Like, I could see... Okay, of course. Pixar's Mado. Yeah, Pixar's Mado is Cars 2. Which, Mado's the main character, and Lightning McQueen is the side character. Which I... Which is way up. But I, I love Cars 2. Cars 2 for me was like... That was also a film that I watched when I was growing up. It was released uh, the same year when I was seven years old, which I love. The I love Cars too. I know everybody's gonna go down below the comments say boo oh whatever, guys. Oh, this is just my own personal opinion. This is my personal opinion. You guys have your own opinion. Leave it down below in the guys. Leave it down below in the comment section below, guys. Share your ranking of all the Pixar films. Cars 1 is my fav... Like, Cars 2 is one of my favorite uh, Pixar movies of all time. It's not in my top 5, but it's in my top 10. I love Cars 2. I wish everybody could just say that Cars 2 is a great movie. I just wish... Even even Disney... Even, even Disney doesn't 
does not like it. I love Cars 2. I watched Cars 2 a ton when I was a kid. How many times I saw Cars 2? Five? Six times? For me, Cars 2 is not terrible. For me, I really like these new characters. Finn Mephisto, Finn, Holly, these two spies. I love these two characters. Uh, even if the actor who plays Finn is 89 years old, which he is 89, right? 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 Eighty nine, I was right. Like he's eighty nine years old. And my question is Could we see I know this film did thirty nine percent wild tomatoes? Which tomatoes? Wild tomatoes. That's like some but for me this film for me, if I rate my own wild tomatoes, cars two is an eighty three percent like around a ninety percent. I love cars two. I know Cars 2 is different for other people. I know, like, 75, like this, okay? 75% of the people hated this film. While 25% in the world love Cars 2. Which I wanted the 25%. Cars 2 for me was like... I really like what they did with, like, the, like I really like because... I feel like Mado should get more development. And he did it this film. I feel like, yeah. So, I feel like the film of, uh, for me, I love Cars 2. Cars 2 is one of the, like, it's an awesome movie. Now, it's not an amazing movie. There were some problems. I love, I love, uh, P Professor C. Professor C. He's a very good character. Uh, so, Axelrod. So, Axelrod, uh, as the fielder. I like Sir Axelrod. And of course, World Grand Prix. I'm really hoping that we can get more World Grand Prix. 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 Grand Prix. In the future. If there's a cause for, I would love to see these characters come back. Like Francesco. Francesco is amazing. I am Francesco Bulluri. Which, that's not his last name, but yeah. Francesco! I'm an Italian guy. I'm from Italy and I am whatever, but yeah. Cars 2 for me, awesome film. I love Cars 2. Cars 2 was one of those films that uh, I really enjoyed so much growing up uh, when I was a kid and I really loved the film, so yeah. And now it comes, to, and now it comes to Cars 3, which Cars 3 for me. Let me down just a little bit, but it's still in my top 10. Guys, all the Cars movies is in my top 10. And Cars 3 is my least favorite of all of them, but Cars 3 was different than all of them. One, Lightning McQueen is a teacher. Yeah, which Lightning is a teacher. Well, he's not really a teacher. One of Doc's friends. Uh, which I don't remember his name. I think something like... Let me see here. Let me see here. Yeah, you got Lightning McQueen. You got Cruz. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, this guy was, was pretty good as he was kind of like the villain of the film, but not really because he doesn't really want Cruz to be a racer. But yeah, oh, who was it? Miss Frizzle was, uh, uh, Chuck, the Mado, the, uh, Luigi, Smokey. Smokey, Smokey was Smokey. his name. That Smokey was Lightning McQueen's trainer to go over 200 miles per hour. Well, if you guys don't know, guys, Jackson Storm was... Jackie Smokey. No, no, no. 
Jackson, Jackson Storm was pretty much the villain of this film. He was pretty much like he is always winning. He was like he's pretty much like the villain of the film. Which I don't think cost three times a villain. But Jackson Storm could go over 200 miles per hour. Which they had to race in Florida in this film, I believe. And for me, Cars 3 is still an awesome movie. I love Cruz. She's a really good character. I really like what they did with her character. Everybody else is very really good. Though. For me, Cars 3 for me, yeah, it goes up to the awesome tier. I enjoy Cars 3 so much. Now, I think it's better than Toy Story 3. Now, I'm going to talk about more a little bit more why I'm saying that Toy Story Cars 3 is better. So, yeah. And now, guys, we do have a new car series coming out next month, which, you guys know, I can't wake. Waked. Yet. You guys know I can't wake. Wake. Them yet. Because they're not even out yet. Which I would do a review after the final episode hits on Disney+. Plus. So, yeah. And now, uh, let's see what we can check out next. Let's check out The Incredibles, shall we? The first Incredibles, I, I really love the first Incredibles. The first Incredibles came out when I was born. It came out like five months after I was born. Which, uh, I love the Incredibles. I really like, I like Bob, Helen, Violet, Dash, and Jack Jack. Jack Jack was pretty funny, like... Like, see the baby? Like, see the baby? Like, it's very funny. Samuel L. Jackson did a really amazing job. Like, Samuel did an awesome job as Frozen. Well, honey, where is my super suit? Where is my super suit? I love that scene. But, yeah. But, yeah. Samuel was a good villain. Wait. Wait. I got a question. Does Sakurai Re wait? I think the actor who plays Simio is Sakurai Weepai, right? Right? A bot bot as at that mold. <laughs> no, Jason Lee. I forgot it was a Sakurai Weepai. It was Jason Lee. You get Dave. I know Jason Lee, like, shh. Jason Lee as, uh, David Saphir from Alvin and the Chipmunks, which is one of my favorite franchises growing up. So, yeah. Shh. Yeah, guys, guys, I just want to say, Jason Lee is amazing. I love Jason Lee. Just, Jason, no, Jason Lee. He did amazing as Dave Sapphira from the live action Alvin and Jason. No. Okay, guys. I love Jason Lee. I love him as David Sapphira from the live action Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. He did a he did a great job, but yeah. I am Sibio. Sidio? Sibio? Sidio? Say Jubaba. Which is one of the best films ever. For me, I love the film. The archer is really good. I really love uh, the way that these incredible, like these Paul family, like Bob Paul, Harold Paul, Father Paul, Dash Paul, Chuck Chuck Paul. For me, the Incredibles goes up in the awesome tier. Now, I could put it up in the um, old time tier. Now, I might change some things around. But I love The Incredibles as like one of the best movies ever, which I love it. Even it was, even it came out on, even this film, this film came out when I was born. The same year, 2004, I was born 2004, June 8th, 2004, which this came out, and yeah. And now let's check out The Incredibles 2, which I feel like, Oh my goodness, this right here, I I also love The Incredibles 2. I love Incredibles 2. 
Yeah, I know it released 13 years after the first one, but I feel like Brad Bird, I feel like Brad Bird needs to figure out a story plan, which it takes 13 years to pick up. Guys, Brad Bird was also directed Ratatouille at that time, which I'm going to talk about Ratatouille in just a few minutes. But Brad Bird did an amazing job in The Incredibles 2. Like the, like, the continuation of this franchise, now we got a new film, which is... I think it's, uh... Screen? Screen? Uh... Uh... Mask? I don't remember what the film's was name. I know he was... She was, uh... Uh... Something like, uh... Something to bring the superheroes back, like some person who is try some people some person who's congratulating all these heroes for coming back, while his sister was the villain, which I have not seen the Incredibles two in quite a while. I only see the first, I only see the, I only see Incredibles two once. I only see the Incredibles two once, and yeah, it is a great movie. I. Love this film. It is one of the greatest films ever. I just really hope that Brad Bird goes on stage at D23 this year or D23 next year to announce that The Incredibles 3 is in development. I would love to see a third Incredibles movie if it has to take like six to eight years to make. I'm gonna say eight years to, to make. I'm gonna say 2026. Being the release date to release the Incredibles three, I feel that like this. I feel that like the Incredibles should deserve a trilogy. But yeah, Incredibles two. I love the story. The plot was really great. For me, I'm gonna put the Incredibles two in the great tier, which I enjoyed. I really enjoyed the Incredibles two. It wasn't better than the original. Same G. Wait, C Jerome. Sichuoma, Sichuoma, whatever how you pronounce his name, he was better, but uh, this movie was very good. So yeah, and that's it. Let's check out. Uh, let's check out the Masters Incorporated franchise, shall we? Start it up with Masters Inc., which I really enjoy. Monster Masters Inc. Hand. I really like Masters Inc. Monster uh. Hand. Uh. Billy Crystal, like Billy, that's his name, Billy, Billy, yeah, Billy Crystal did a great job as, like, guys, I just want to tell you guys, Pete Doctor did a fantastic job directing this film. Pete Doctor is a great person. I love what they did with Pete Doctor's character. I really like what Pete Doctor did with this film. Billy Crystal as Mike Wazowski. He did an, a fantastic job. And you got China. Wait, who plays these characters again? Subscribe, I watch John Goodman. John Goodman. John Goodman as James P. Sower in Like. Yeah. Uh, is it confirmed? Yes. Pete Dato was the director of the film, which, yeah. John Goodman and Bill Crystal, Billy Crystal, did a great job at these two characters. I like the, uh, the slow lady, like the snail lady. I'm always watching you, Max Wasaski. Always asking. <laughs> I just love her character. Ooh. Like, hey guys, it's me. Oh, wait. Hey guys, uh, I can't get Mike's voice. Hey guys, it's me, Mike Wazowski. Hey, student. Come on. Hit your get 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 Hey guys, it's me, Sally. I wish I could get better with these two guys' voices, but yeah. Monsters Inc. was one of the, one of the pretty much one of the best Pixar films ever. It's, it's, it's. Of course, it is a monster movie, 
But what I really like about the story is very really good. I love, uh, uh, I think it is, uh, uh, who was the actor who plays, who's the other guy's name, but, Red Doe, Steve, uh, like Steve, uh, Bel- oh, Rose, played by Bob Peterson, this low. I'm always watching you, Mike, always watching. But Wendell's very really good. I really, I really like his character. As Wendell's pretty much like the main character, like the main theory. Uh, Jennifer Tease as Calissa, very really good. Henry Ch- Ch- Wendell's uh, 3, What's played it? by James Cobb. Can't pronounce his name, but I really like, uh, I really like James uh, and Wendell. Their two was like, Especially Wendell. He's really funny. Like, he's really good. Like, he's very really good. And for me, Monsters Inc. goes up to the awesome tier. Me and my put it in the old time tier when uh, other Pixar films comes out. But for right now, I might change some things around. I might change some things around when we start making them. So, yeah. And now, let's check out the sequel. Or, you could say, the prequel. Monsters University. Which... Monsters University was uh, was a little bit it wasn't a little bit weird uh, I'm gonna say this film was weird to say it's like I don't know why it's weird but this film for me was like chocolate cake no Monsters University was a little bit weird now I like the animation the animation is a little bit more colorful. I love it a little bit more colorful in the movie. Now, while, of course, Mike and Sally go to college, which I really like it. The film was real. And yeah, at the end of the film, at yeah, the end of the film, when uh, Mike is, uh, Mike cannot be a scare. For me, I hadn't seen Masters University in quite a while. I hadn't seen this film in quite a while. For me, Masters University is... Solid. Window as uh, Mike's pop dog. Pretty good. And yeah, the challenges is really good. Like the challenges that they did. I think there was one that you had to... Uh, I don't know which one it was. But yeah, and of course, uh, there's a lot about this film that is pretty good. Monsters University. Uh, what should I put it? Good or all right? It's not like one of those films that I might like. Okay. I might put it in the good tier for right now, which I feel like monsters. Stop it, which I feel like monsters. You, pretty solid, but yeah, I know we do have a new monsters incorporated series, which I'm just making the films, not the TV shows. When the uh, when the new car series comes out, then yeah, I will make all of the three shows, all of them together with the shows. Maybe if I have time, but right now. I like Masters U. Masters University is very good. So yeah, and now let's check out. Uh, uh, let's check out Finding Nemo, shall we? Let's do Finding Nemo, shall we? Finding Nemo for me was like the way to say this related to Master. Like for me, talking about Master Finding Nemo for just a minute. Finding Nemo is not in my top ten. I like Finding Nemo. I really like the story. Dory is very good, Bell is very good, Little Nemo is very good as well. And it's just very really weird. Because Nemo goes to this, because Nemo, she, he goes to this uh, dentist place. Which the guy's daughter works, uh, ooh, I did not like her. I mean, but I really like the story. The story was very really good, like in an underwater story for Pixar. As this fish. For me, I really enjoyed Finding Nemo. The story was like way really enjoyable. It wasn't perfect, in my opinion. It wasn't perfect. But Finding Nemo for me, I'm gonna put Finding Nemo in the great tier, but it's gonna be kind of like high great tier. I still really enjoy Finding Nemo. It's not like a film that I would like watch too much. For me, I didn't really enjoy it too much. It's just, 
I never got into Finding Nemo so much when I was growing up. I never got into Finding Nemo when I was growing up, so yeah. And this is where things get really worse. Finding Dory, which is the opposite of great. Now, it's not bad, but for me, Finding Dory was uh, a weird film I watched. Now, of course, it was a movie. It was the third movie who hit... It was the third... No, it was the second Pixar movie that hit a billion dollars. But for me, Finding Dory is... I'm not saying it's weird. It's just... It's different. Dory needs to be found. And you need to find... Like, she has to find her family. Which for me... Some things are related to the story, the plot. I just did not enjoy the plot too much. This is not a good movie. Of course it's not. For me, Finding Dory is just a film that I was just disappointed of. I was disappointed of this film. And that's why I'm going to put Finding Dory in the all right here. It's all right. It's just an all right movie. I was like, it's just all right. I was disappointed of the film. But it wasn't like a film that I would hate too much. I just disappointed of this film. So yeah. And that's pretty much all the sequels done with. And now let's just go in order of all the rest of the films. Okay, start up with a okay, the next one is a bug's life. Which A Bug's Life is not that bad. Like uh I went back. Like it's not like like now, I I always, like, A Bug's Life for me always has been the same. Like, if you haven't seen my previous few waking videos when I wake all of these films, like, Toad and Red, uh, uh Luca, I like, Luca, like, Toad and Red, Luca, yeah, Toad and Red, uh, Luca, So, Onward, you guys always saw that my A Bug's Life has been the same. Yeah, yeah, this always has been to say, A Bug's Life has been always alright for me. I never got into the story of A Bug's Life. I really like the character, I really like the color bearer. I really like the color bearer being, I'm a beautiful butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly. I really like, but yeah, but A Bug's Life for me is just alright. Now, maybe just me if I watch it a lot more times, it might move up to the good tier. But for... Uh, yeah, let's move it up just a little bit. A Bug's Life was a good movie. I'm just gonna say. <sighs> this is so hard. I'm gonna just keep, okay. I'm just gonna get A Bug's Life in all white, but it's gonna be high all white tier. Because I never watch A Bug's Life too much. I've seen it a few times. I might have watched it like three, like two to three times. But I have never really seen the Bugs Life too much. I never really have been a fan of a Bugs Life. I know a lot of people loves the film. I know a lot of people say it was a good movie. Some people said it was a great movie. But a Bugs Life for me wasn't a film that I would watch too much. But a Bugs Life was alright. So yeah. And now let's head to the next film, which I am really excited about. What a truly! Ratatouille! <laughs> Ratatouille. What do you think about this film? Let me just say, it's one of the best animation movies I have ever seen. Ratatouille was amazing. What I really like about the film is this rat named Remy wants to become a cook. Which, I really like Remy. Remy is like, one of the greatest characters I have ever seen. I really like Remy's character. The way that they, the way that the Pixar, the way that Brad Bird did with this character, I really like what they did with this character. Brad Bird is a great director. Yeah, Brad Bird is a great director. He did a awesome job with Ratatouille, and of course you got Luigi as his partner slash. Whatever, Wimby is the Wimby. Wimby is the Wimby is the main character in this movie, and of course, uh, I think uh, 
Who's the other character's name? Who's the female's name? What? In Ratatouille. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Uh. Oh, Will Arnett is in this film? I did not know. Oh, it's... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, I got it now. The guy who said, I would destroy this man with this thumb. Got it now. But yeah. Now it's, I destroyed the man with this thumb. Alfredo. I destroyed the man. Oh, Alfredo Laguini. That's his name. Alfredo is his real name. And the Igor's mother. Uh, Augustus. Uh, Augustus Green. No, Augustus. Uh, like the guy who tasted ratatouille, who would actually taste the video that says, I will always say that this is a number one star, and I will never try this again. Like this guy right here, guys. Oh! He's the chef. He's the... Oh! Oh. You guys remember Anton Eco? What? Yep. This guy right here? Yep. Huh? Yes. Uh, yeah. This female I was talking about. Uh, Coletta. Coletta? Coletta? Which is a really good character, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Which I feel like Disney Pixar needs to bring back Ratatouille. I feel like it has up because it's been... How many years has it been? 15 years since we saw everything related to Ratatouille. We need some more Remy. We need more Remy. We need more Laguini. We need more of the girl's uh, character. I want it to be a Ratatouille too. Which I don't think it's going to happen, but yeah. But, Brad Bird. If you watch this video, Brad Bird, the director who directed Ratatouille, if you watch this video right now, you should make a Ratatouille sequel or a Disney Plus show. That brings us more about the the, uh, the rest chart and more that you can do with characters. I would love to see more of Ratatouille. What do you guys think? And for me, Ratatouille for me has to go up to the old time tier. I'm sorry, it has to. This is what I want to. I want. I want Wimmy to like work. Now I want Ratatouille Wimmy to work at Taco Bell now. Uh, they can't do that. Right. Copyright issues. But yeah, where are two weeks? Yeah. Now we head to a film that I can't resist. Most, most I can't resist this next film. The most. Wally. Yay. <laughs> Wally is this. Wally is a film that is my childhood. This is a film I seen like. Ten times when I was a kid. And let me just tell you, I'm going to even put that in the old time tier. Yep. Wally well, has been my number one favorite Pixar film a lot of time. Even I see this film in theaters, which I was so happy I saw this. This came out when I was four years old. Yeah, this movie, Wally well, came out when I was four years old. I was like, Andrew Station did a amazing job directed this film. I lo I was like, Wally well, was just one of the best films ever. Yay. Even, uh, hey, would I watch Wally tonight? I would. But I'm probably not going to be able to because I got a lot of things going on the rest of the night. But yeah, but I could watch Wally every day. I could watch Wally every day and never quit. Which I wish there was more of Wally. Come on, Disney Pixar, please. Give us more worry. I need, I can't resist. I need uh, Andrew Station. If you're watching this video, you should give us a worry Disney Plus show. We're getting a close Disney Plus show. We got an A up Disney Plus show, be a Duck Days. We just got Masters Incorporated show. Why Masters Inc. show be Monsters at Work? Why don't you make like, Wally's a bad show, like Wally and Eve, like how it like a Disney Plus show called Wally and Eve, which has more adventures going through different planets, 
going through different ships. And do all of that. Go back to space. Adventure the Earth. And adventure all of that. Disney. Make more Wally projects. We need more Wally. It's been 13... It's been 13 years since we got anything Wally related. It's been 13 years. And... I'm 18. Wally came out when I, Wally came out when I was 4 years old. And I'm now 18 years old. Wally came out 14 years ago. And I feel like... I just feel like that Pixar should give us more. Come on. Come on, Pixar. If you're watching this video right now, you should give us more movies with Ratatouille and Wally. I love Wally so much. Even people say that Wally is one of the best Pixar films, which I agree. People say, I know people say it's one of the worst films, but Wally is one of the better Pixar films. Ever. It should be your guys. Wally well, should be in the awesome tier. If you don't have an old time tier, you should put it in the awesome tier. It's like one of the greatest films ever made. Andrew Station. Andrew Station did an amazing job with this film. I just wish this film did more than five hundred million dollars. Wally well, deserves to go back to theaters like next year. Next year. If Wally well, goes back to theaters next year. I'm going to get my money and go see it in theaters in 4K. And if this film can make more money in theaters, then guess what? If Wally can make more money in theaters, that would be so amazing that Wally can hit a billion dollars next year. Which I'm going to be so happy that Wally could do that. Wally deserves to go back to theaters. It deserves to. Next year marks the 15th year anniversary of Wally. And I would love to. And yeah. I know I talk about Wally so much. We got a lot more films to talk about. I'm going to talk about more Wally later in the video. Maybe something like that. But yeah. Let's continue on. Up. Okay. Up is really good. Up for me is really good. Pete Doctor did a great job directing this film. And for me. Pete Doctor for me. Like this movie for me. It's really good. I love the first 15 minutes of the movie. The first 15 minutes of the movie was amazing. Well, the rest of the movie, the rest of the movie was good. But the first 15 minutes was the best part of animation. You see, uh, who, I, I know one of them is Aria. What's this film did? What's this film top 98% Rotten Tomatoes? Well, wait, if that has that, how much is Wally? Wally has a 95%. 95% of Wally? Uh, Cora and Ellie. Cora and Ellie did perfect. Now, I love Russell. Russell very good. Oh my goodness. Doug was funny. I want to be your. Uh, can you please help be my owner? I want a family. I want a. I want somebody to play them. I want you to play with me. I want that Doug and his guys. Do you wish that there was a talk uh, dinner? Brian should die like, from Sonic like, too. Like, and the Brian should die from yeah, Sonic too. Yeah, guys. Do you guys wish that there was talk dinner cars uh, that uh, you could uh, like talk in cars? Then you can put on a dog, and you would know what they're saying, or a cat. That would be amazing. Let me, let me know down below in the comment section below. So scientists make, uh, so scientists, and uh, so scientists in the people who make cars, uh, so make talking cars, would that be amazing? That every single time a dog talk, every single time a dog bark, be something like, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom or something like that. It's just like something like that. And yeah, Up For Me is a good movie. I really enjoyed Up. It's like... Same. It's like a film that uh, is really good. But Wally in the head was better because uh, that was my childhood. Which Up, I, don't, I have not watched Up too much. Like... 
I have never, like, I have never seen a people, like, at that time, like, I think it was two or three years ago, 2019 or 2018, that was the very first time I ever seen up. I have never seen up before. Like, I have never, like, when I was a kid, I have never seen up in my whole entire life. I have never seen up my whole life. And when it got on Amazon on Stars, I was like, I watched it, and it was a good movie. Which I did rewatch it again, which is still very really good. I want to go rewatch it sometime. Uh, but yeah, but up is really good. And yeah. Now we're here to a film that really didn't get me too much. A film that I decide for me to not watch again. Brave. Brave was so disappointed. Way more disappointed as like finding Dory in a book's life. I had to put Brave in the mat tier. Brave was weird. Yeah. Now, now, I like Merida. Merida was a good character. Her mother was. She was like. Uh, her, she was. The queen wasn't too good. Now, the guy. Her Merida's father kind of sounded like Stoke. For me. But it didn't, does it? But yeah. Of course, the actor who plays Garbo is in this film. I really like it. But for me, this film is just so disappointed. The way that they just... That Melita made her mom into a pill. That was, like... I remember... I remember my youngest brother was scared. Really scared about the film. He, like... He was scared that he doesn't really want to watch it again. Or was it my sister? No, it was my youngest brother. Uh, he didn't really like Brave because it was so, so scary. Which, uh, yeah. Which, Brave for me... I kind of do try it, but at the same time, the story... I just did not like the story. The story for me wasn't the film that... Uh, yeah, I don't really want to watch Brave again. Maybe I might watch it again. Maybe I might change my nine mind. But in the end, it was really weird. Like, uh, Merita got her mom back when she was naked. I thought, like, when she was covered. Of course, the blanket was covering her. Of course, the blanket was covering her. But it's just so weird that she's like, Ah, uh, honey, uh, I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> it's just so funny. But don't. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that, guys. But yeah, Brave for me wasn't that good. That's just right there on the list. Now, Inside Out, I really, really enjoyed Inside Out. Inside Out was one of the saddest movies I have ever seen. Like, this was like one of the saddest films ever. And I love it. I love this film. It was like, it's like, it's like, you're wondering, people have been wondering, what is going on inside your head? What's that, dude? Right? Whatever. Like, is there people inside your brain, like, joy? Is joy inside your head? Is anger inside your head? Is anger, like, is anger, is, it, is fear, or disgust, or sadness on your head? I feel like Why the- Why are you talking about inside out? Because, yeah. Like, I feel like, yeah. In general, there is people inside your brain. There's people inside your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can change your emotions. They can change your memory. They can do all of that. They can, uh, they can give you nice dreams. Like joy. I feel like I have joy inside my head. Which gives me... Yeah, there's some sadness. Did you hold anger? Did you hold yep. fear? Yep. Disgust. There's some disgust. I'm like, yeah, that's disgusting. Like broccoli? Yes. But yeah, but Inside Out was really good. I would say. And for me... Are you doing Inside Out? Yeah. For me, I would say Inside Out goes to the great tier. I really enjoyed Inside Out. Inside Out was one of the greatest films I have ever seen. It's one of the saddest films ever. It's one of the best saddest films ever. I cried. With this film. I just... I cried when Wiley is... Uh, 
but quietly she misses her hubba. She misses her hubba. Like she, like she lived in uh, Minnesota, but she moved down to San Francisco. Yeah, she moves. I was it the uh, San Antonio. No, I was San Francisco. When she goes down there. Yeah, San Francisco. And then the end of the ending was really sad. With Riley say, I miss, I miss Homer. I miss my home in uh, Minnesota. Which, if you guys don't know, but you don't know what happened. Riley got, she didn't got angry. She just, like she just, the way that she did is she just woke up, grabbed her mom's card, and leave to the airport to go back to Minnesota. Which, when she got joy back on her head, she said, hey, I want to get up. And then the sad, it went sadness uh, with you, uh, Riley. That's just one of the saddest parts of the movie. And this is, in fact, one of the greatest films I have ever seen. Now, the good dinosaur, eh, eh, no, 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 no. The good dinosaur, no. This is a film that I don't want to watch this film again. Yeah, the good dinosaur was weird. And I don't want to talk about it too much. Okay, I'm going to tell it, okay? Arnold was really good. Like, Arnold was good. I like Chuck. I think Chuck is the... The the uh, the kid's name. I think Chuck is his name. I don't really know. I don't remember. Spot. Like you got Arlo, Spot, Forrester, Butch, Henry. Not Hen. Not, not the YouTuber Henry, but if you don't know who Henry is, the British guy. <laughs> but yeah, but Henry. We, you don't know. Henry is, you do not know where, you do not, I mean. Look, Henry, that Henry, Henry with a W, I know, I know, he had a billion subs, but yeah, but of course, not Henry, you no, don't know keep Henry, it going, please. If you don't know Henry, you do not know what you're talking about. Yeah, Henry, not with a W, but with an R. Henry, 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 not Henry. Henry, Henry, by the way, play by Jeffrey Wind? Are you serious? This guy's from What If? This is like, right? Yeah, that's that is the the watcher. That's the watcher. For yeah, and yeah, seventeen six percent rotten tomatoes. No, I give this a zero. Well, I might give that like a five or a ten percent, but. Yeah, the good dinosaur, yeah. The dinosaurs is pretty good. I, I'm going to say the dinosaurs were pretty good. The pterodactyls are pretty good. I really like those flying dinosaurs. I really like that one. But yeah. But I prefer Jurassic Park over the good dinosaur. Jurassic Park is better. And you guys can go check out my Jurassic Park 1 and 2 review. You guys can go check that out on my YouTube channel after you guys are done watching this. You guys can go to my YouTube channel and go check out those movie reviews. But yeah, but the good dinosaur for me, no. So yeah. Now we're here to a film that I, is another sad film, but also it was beautiful. It was like a really cute film. And it's like one of the films that I did really enjoy back in 2018. And that is Coco, which I really enjoy Coco. As this Mexico film, Miguel, Miguel is a really great yeah. character. Miguel's very good. Uh, I think his name is Echo. Hector, Echo, Echo. You got Miguel, Echo. Either Kira de la Cruz and Recto de la Cruz. Mama and Meta. Like, this film, I love Coco. 
Coco was well. Dante. Dante. The skinny dog. Yeah. Uh, Grandma Coco. Grandma Coco. I hate you that loves music. Yeah. Uh, well, this, guys, let me just tell you guys one of the greatest songs I love this movie. Okay. <clears throat> let me get my guitar on. No, I disagree. Okay. Okay. Be quiet. Uh, 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 be quiet. Mm -hmm. Remember me. But I the heart to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Remember, Remember me. me. Don't let it make Bits you cry. And even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. Secret sentence on you. It's now your part. <laughs> what? That, Guys, crazy. Remember Me was one of the greatest songs. Played by Ecto. It's actually Ecto's son to Coco, but it met Electro de la Cruz. How do you actually pronounce his name? Electro de la Cruz. When he says the son, Remember me, then I had to say goodbye, no, remember, remember me. me. Yeah, guys, guys, no, if you had to say Coco, shh, shh. Yeah. Guys, if you had to see Coco, you guys need to go check it out. It's like one of the, pretty much one of the top five favorite films for Pixar, I'm going to say. And speaking of top five, we just finished up our top five favorite Pixar films. So name is these nuts. Stop it. But yeah. So name is these nuts. No. Coco, I really hope we get more Coco movies. I really hope we get a sequel to Coco Maybe this year actually marks the fifth year anniversary of Coco. Coco has been out for five years. Well, not yet. It will be five years next month. That will be five years in November. But yeah. But if Coco comes back in the... Better die, nuts. Yeah. If Coco comes back in the sequel, that, like, if there was a Coco 2, which McGill gets a girlfriend, which that would be pretty cool, I'm going to say. But yeah, the bring back on the actor, the bring back Hector. Now we do know, we do know Hector, no, uh, we do know that, uh, Ernesto de la Cruz died because he got hit by a bear twice. A bear twice. Yeah, he died when he was a person. And then he died as a skeleton. A human. He died, then he turned into a skeleton, right in the same place, he died. And guess what? He's dead forever. Yes. Unless there was another spirit world that went to the level. Wait, guys, that's okay. Like if you die, like yeah, maybe Eretto de la Cruz is uh, a ghost. Uh, which I could see that happening. Which he is the villainer, so, yeah. He's pretty much one of the greatest villains ever. Let's see here. Mama Elita. Will be good? I like Echo. But yeah. And now we're here to the newer movies from 2021. No, to 2020 all the way to 2021. Which one of these are on this list? Yeah. You bet. But yeah. But of course, let's start out with Onward. I love Onward. I really enjoy Onward. I really like Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. They did a great job as these two brothers. Trying to bring back the father because the oldest brother, which is played by Chris Pratt, he saw his father, but Tom Holland's character has not. Which he did saw his father once, uh, and then he died. Which, yeah, the the mom was very good. The story was, uh, it was decent. For me, the movie is decent, decent. I'm gonna put it the good tier or the old right tier. One of the two, this is very difficult to say which one do I choose because our one was pretty good. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm probably actually gonna put our word in the good tier. I usually did put it in the old right tier, but I decided to go good tier for our word. I really think our word is a very really good movie. I love Tom, I love Chris. Chris Pratt, Tom Holland did a great job. Uh, and I really like this Pat film. Mario? Chris Pratt is Mario. 
Yes, Chris Pine is going to be married next year, so I'm very excited to go see that film with you, Beatles. Wow. I really hope it's not a musical. I really... Joey Day, which uh, I really like him in the film, like the film, like. Wait, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Like that, like where we like that, but yeah, I was pretty good. Angelina Joy as I think that's what his her name is, playing as Peach, and Jack Black as Bowser. Michael Keane, Michael B. Keane, I don't really know, as Turd. There's a pretty good cast members. There's a pretty good cast members. Even Sif Rogen as Donkey Kong, which I feel like uh, Sif Rogen was the best choice. But yeah. But yeah. That was very good. So yeah. No, yeah. So. So was one of the greatest movies I have ever seen. So is this film that, yeah, Jamie Foxx did a great job as this character. Tina Fey did a good good job as 22. And yeah, all the other characters, the way that they made this as a jazz movie, this is a, a jazz musical movie, like a jazz movie, which I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed what they did with So. So for me is really good, which I'm going to say... The way that they did with Jamie Foxx's character, okay guys, Pete Doctor comes back to direct the film. Pete Doctor did a great job directing this film. And for me, so goes up to the great tier. I love so so much. So yeah. And now we head to another film, which yeah, I kinda didn't really enjoy too much. And that is Luca. Luca was Luca for me was disappointed. Why? It's just we. Really, it's just these uh, Italian people. For me, or is it Italian or is it Indian people? Italian people, but Luca for me seems like. Uh, Please at least put him, like in the good tier. For me, I'm gonna for me. I had to put Luca in the all right tier. Luca for me was like, Luca's a film that I really want to love it. It's just, for me, and yeah, I like Luca, I love, who's the other guy's name? Uh, Abarto. Abarto is very good. No, um, um, I want to see this film once. Abarto? I think it's Abarto. Abarto. Who's the female, who's the girl's name? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. <gasps> That's a ninety-one percent rotten tomatoes. No. A Bretto. Luca. Chino. Galissa. Galissa. Diane. Wait. Mia Rudolph. I know her. She plays uh, the girl from uh, the Lego Movie 2. She plays the mom. Also, I know her for something else. Uh, I think it's Galea. Wait, I'll check it. I think so, but yeah. Luca for me is just alright. I only seen it once. There might be a chance that I might pull it up to the good tier in the future, but right now, Luca for me is at the bottom tier for me. So, yeah. And now, we head to a film, which, uh, why did Disney Pixar did this? Disney Pixar, why did they make Tony Red? Why? Why did they, okay, 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 here's one tea, I'm going to do this, okay? Here's what we're going to do, okay? Tony Red, I'm going to have one tea for you. And I call it this tier right here. This tier oh, right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna put this one in the... I said, okay, I have turned it red in a section. Cow, bad, bad Disney. Bad, bad Disney. Disney. Wait. Bad, bad Disney slash Pixar. You did a terrible job, Pixar, and turn it red. Why did you have to make it weird? Like, uh, uh, well, like, uh, to make it like, oh, this girl named Me Mimi. Mimi, who, what? Mimi. Mimi, who is a teenager who just went poo up, who actually did play, who actually did, only did play a poo up in one, like, a few scenes. She only used that while she's a teenager and she sneaks out without anybody noticing. Why are they doing this? Why is this movie doing that to tell kids to do that? Even, don't do this to your mom. Shake your butt. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't shake your butt out your mother. Don't do that. That's bad. Disney, you did a terrible job. And I hate, and I hate it. This was one of the worst years of Disney's ever. One of the worst years of Disney, especially for Tony Red, which is the worst film in Pixar. Which I prefer The Good Dinosaur over Tony Red. Guys, if you have a Pixar movie to if you have a Pixar movie to watch, skip Tony Red. Skip it. It's not a film for you guys. And it deserves to be zero. Percent Rotten Tomatoes. It has uh, not very good stuff. So yeah, and then finally we got Lightyear, which, which for me, Lightyear was a really great film. I love Chris Evans. Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear was a great job. I love Izzy. Izzy's very good. Uh, Mo played by Taco Taco Ratiki. The director of uh, Thor 3 and 4. And the film that I love Sog. Sog is actually... Sog in real life is actually the adult, the old version of Buzz Lightyear. Which, for me, what does this film feel like? Uh, hmm. Wait, what movie was like this? That there was two of the same person there? Oh, guys, I want you guys to let me know down below in the comment section. Now. Do you think there was, I know there was one film where somebody went back in time and there was two of the same person there. Well, there was, of course, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, which there was two of the same people. And there's another film I know of. There was another film that I know of, but I can't think of it in my head. But I know there was another film when someone else went back in time, and there's one person who's an old version of himself. But I don't remember. But Lightyear, as like the old Buzz Lightyear as the film as Silk. Silk did an amazing job, which I'm so excited for a sequel, because there is a second movie coming up. Which for me, Lightyear is a great movie. I really like Lightyear. Lightyear is a... Lightyear is a Lightyear is a film that you guys should check out. It's a film that you should check out. So yeah. But guys, let me tell you guys that there's one scene in there that uh, I don't want to talk about. But you guys can find out yourself. But yeah. And let me end. Now let's make you guys all 26 Pixar films through number one order to the last place. In last place is Total Red. Of course. Yeah. Of course. So yeah. Number 25 is... The Good Dinosaur, which, I mean, yeah. Number 24, Brave. Brave is just disappointed. Number 25, oh, number, tw no, number 23 is a hard one. Number 23 is a hard one. But I'm going to go find the Dory as my number 23. Number 22, I have to go with Luca as my number 22. It's just, uh, I need to watch it a lot more. Yeah. And my number 21 is A Bug's Life. Number 30 is When Things Get Difficult. 
Number 30, I'm going to go with Odd World as my number 30. Number 19, I go with Masters University as my number 19. Number 18, Toy Story 4, which Toy Story 4 is my number 18. Up is my number 17. Number 16, this is a tricky one. What do I make my number 16? Well, at the bottom of the list for me and my number 16 has to be the original Toy Story. Sorry for some Toy Story fans, but I had to put that right there because it's very, very weird. And yeah. Number 15, what is my number 15? Number 15, I go with Inside Out, which I really enjoy Inside Out uh, for a reason. Number 14, I'm so sorry for some Finding, no, finding Nemo fans, but I have to put Finding Nemo my number 14. I have to. So yeah, number 13 is when things get really, really, really hard for me. But, uh, uh, my number 13, uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to make Soul as my number 13, then Light Eel as my number 12, uh, then The Incredibles 2 as my number 11. Uh. Which, the reason why I put, fine, the reason why I put The Incredibles 2 at the top is because I really enjoy it. Now, I really enjoy Light Eel, which I put the Put that one on my number 12, maybe it might, pop up, maybe it might go up to my top 10, which I'll watch more, so yeah. And now we hit to my top 10, which there might be some changes around. I might change some things around in the old time tier, but let's go, here we go. My number 10, and my number 10 is Toy Story 3, which I really love Toy Story 3, but it's not a film that I would watch too much, so yeah. Number 9, Cars 3. Cars 3 is my number 9. Number 8. Oh, number 8 is a difficult one. You know what, guys? I'm going to keep it like that. You know what, guys? I'm going to keep it like that. My number 8 is Monsters Eek. No, I'm going to put the Incredibles, the original Incredibles, on my number 8. As number 8, yeah. Number 7 is Monsters Eek. Number 6 is Cars 2, which I enjoy Cars 2 a lot. And now I hit the top five, which this is very hard because this is my, these are my favorite movies right here. But here's what we're gonna do. At the bottom of the list will be Coco. Coco is a fantastic movie, which you guys should watch. Number four, Toy Story two, which I really love Toy Story two. And yeah, number three, Wild Two. Wild Two is my number three, and. Number two is Cars, the original Cars. Oh, glitch. Yeah, number two is Cars, and of course, my number one is Rowie. So, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is yeah, guys. So, guys, if you want to make your very own uh, M's Pixar list, He's this, generous. yeah, guys. Guys, this Pixar list will be in the description down below if you guys can go check it out, guys. That right there is my ranking of all the Pixar movies. Now, all the films down here, the great tier, the good tier, they're not terrible movies. I really enjoy the films. Now, I know that we probably be thinking of Hey Ninja, Hey Ninja, why did, why did you put the, why did you, did, why did you not put the original Toy Story in the top 10? Let me tell you guys why. Let me tell you guys I put. Let me tell you guys why I put the original Toy Story up at number sixteen. It's just because the original Toy Story. I have I, I did not really like really enjoy it too much. There's a problem that I have with the original Toy Story, which I did have. And yeah, Toy Story four. The reason why I put Toy Story four by number eighteen is because Toy Story four for me. Was it a film that I did really enjoyed? Another question that people have to ask is, Hey Ninja, why did you put Lightyear up so high? And people say that, I know a lot of people have been, I know a few people have been thinking that Lightyear is probably sometime around the good tier, which I love Lightyear. Lightyear was a great film. I'm really excited for a sequel. And yeah, see so ya. Yeah. People is also going to be disappointed that I didn't put Finding Nemo in the top 10. I love Finding Nemo, guys. It's just, these films for me, was like, all these films right here, 
was films that I grew up watching. Uh, guys, the first uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like pretty much like seven of these films, uh, like, like eight of these films, uh, was my genre turn. Uh, well, seven uh, because Toy Story 2 was, wasn't my genre turn, but seven of these films was my genre turn. Uh, which I was really happy about. And yeah. Hey guys. Top 5. Like. Guys please. Do you guys think my way killer is pretty solid? Do you think it's a good way killer? Let me know. Please guys. Don't dislike this video. Leave a like on this video if you do enjoy today. So yeah. And that will be it for this way video. So. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below. I know this video is really long. How many? How many minutes? This video, this video, this video is almost because two hours long. So let's end up the video here, guys. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below if you do enjoy today. I know. Let's try and get this video to five likes. If we could do that, that would be amazing. So yeah. Also, guys, if this is your first time here. Make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button down below, guys. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 1,500 subscribers by the end of... Uh, uh, by the end of August. Which, but right now, we only got 26 days. Which, right now, we only got 20, 25 days left. So please guys, make sure you guys go down below, hit that subscribe button down below, so yeah. Also guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a waking video, and also so yeah. Also guys, share this video with your friends, your family, and do all that stuff, so yeah. And stay tuned guys, because I have no idea what I want to wake next. Now, I could be waking all of the new Ninjago series, like the new Ninjago season, but the problem about that is... The Jungle Crystal Rise Part 2 is not yet on Netflix, which it comes out this October. Why did they have to release it so late? They could release it in like September-ish. We had to wait for another extra, almost close, an extra 60 days. We have, right now, we had to wait for 60 days until we could get Part 2. But right now, I want 60 days. But for me... Pixar, but me, but yeah, I really want to wake the, I really want to wake the DC movies, which I have not seen DC movies, I only seen the first three Superman movies, I see the, the Batman, I see the, I have seen the Batman movie with Adam West, from Adam West, uh, I have seen the, yeah, I think those are the only films I have seen, I'm still in the middle of Supergirl right now. The movie Supergirl back in the 80s. Back in the 80s. I still need to continue our dark film. And then I hit the Superman 4. And yeah. For me, I'll probably get into those very soon. So yeah. Don't forget guys to go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below to join the Ninja Nation Army. And I'll see you guys inside the next one. See you guys next. See you guys next time. Bye, Ninja out. And Flame and Shadow. Yeah, Ninja out. Peace. And one more thing, guys. Make sure you guys go down below. And please, guys, double check if you hit that like button. Double check and hit that subscribe button. And double check and hit that notification bell. And stick around, guys. Go check out more of my other videos. If you like this video, then you might like. Then you might like my other videos. And I will put my pics out with views down below. In the description in this video, in the description of this video, you will see my Pixar reviews, which you guys can go check them out. And if you want to wake these, I will put a link to the description of the tier list. And yeah, it will be in the tier list, uh, at top of the comment section. I will be putting it in the description in the top of the comments, which you guys can find out. Also, I will put the Pixar. Also, I'll put the Pixar Wick reviews in the comments as well. Now, I could put them on the top right corner, which I don't remember how to do that. Which I don't remember because I lost my computer, like, it's been a, 
It's been three months since my... It's been three months. No, four months since I didn't have my main videos with my computer. Because it's been... It's been until May 4th. Until I... It's been like May 3rd? No, May 4th. Because May 3rd is when my computer broke down. Which I'm probably going to get a new computer sooner. Which I'm really hoping for. But yeah. Okay, guys. No, you're going to... Yeah. I don't know. No, that computer could not be fixed. But yeah, but... Uh... Yeah. The tier list, like the tier list, and my Pixar reviews will be in the description and on top of the comment section. Uh, which you guys can go check that out. And yeah, and make you guys all 26 movies down below in the comments. I will put all of those in the comments down below. I will put the whole time Wakens down below in the description, so yeah. And yeah, guys. Go. Hope you guys, I really hope you guys have the rest of your great night. Hope you guys have a great, of the rest of the night. See you guys in the next video, which I have no idea what I'm going to do. I probably might review Top Gun on Monday, which I have seen Top Gun. Not this last Thursday, I but that last Thursday. You can't watch it. I watched it on Amazon on my tablet. It was free. <sighs> Top Gun is not meant for younger people. Yeah. Even it has so much language. Oh. So much. So much that just keep on saying the same bad word over again. Like they have to say it like three times in the world. Like three times in the world. Like one scene. They have a bad word. They have a bad word which they... Keep on saying it in the rest of the scene. Which I have heard some people say the S word three times in the same scene. So don't watch it. it has a ton of bad words. But yeah. But yeah. But guys, if you haven't seen Top Gun, hit the like button down below because I might review Top Gun on Monday. So stay tuned for that. What I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna be getting, I'm gonna go very fancy. I'm gonna wear a coat and I'm gonna wear sunglasses. While I'm doing the review. Because. Oh boy. This is going to be amazing. Because I'm going to have a cut. Which is kind of going to relate to like Tom Cruise's uh, suit. Now my big brother. He does have some. Uh, he does have some. Uh, cop. Because he did bring. He was a cop. When he was younger. If I could wear that whole time suit. Into my video with my glasses on. I could be perfect. And perfect around for my top but Top Gun reviews, which there is going to be two Top Gun reviews next week. Uh, Top Gun Run on Monday and Top Top and Top Gun Mob Break on Friday. Which Tuesday will be another box office video. Wednesday will be with you at Jurassic Park 3. Which there's a lot more other films I want to check out as well. But for right now, I really want to watch the new X. I really, really want to watch the X-Men movies right now. So yeah. Or maybe just maybe there might be a possibility that I might really want to go back and re-review my videos. Re-review all of them again. Like review the MCU again. And review Pixar movies again. But yeah. See ya guys. I gotta go guys. I got to go. So I will see my Pixar fans next time. Peace.